And thank you for joining us on 80s Now at 11. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. Tonight, MGM Resorts continues to deal with what they are calling a cybersecurity issue affecting multiple properties they own on the Las Vegas Strip. But there is some good news tonight with some operations now up and running. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will live outside one of the impacted casinos with the very latest. Brian? Tonight, FBI officials tell me that MGM Resorts has requested their assistance for help with this cybersecurity issue, but guests like the ones at the property behind me are still feeling its effects. We were at the Excalibur. We started over there, and we came over here to meet our friend, and there is is down, too. It was a similar experience for many guests at MGM Resorts properties across the Strip. Slot machines down, key cards not working at parking garages and hotel rooms, some places not even able to take credit cards for payment. I don't really trust putting my money in machines. Right now. <laughs> the problem started Sunday night, and by Monday morning, all MGM Resorts websites were offline. In a statement, MGM Resorts says that their gaming floors are operational as they continue to work to resolve this issue. They also said they are working with cybersecurity experts. Dante Orsini helps companies with the aftermath of cyber attacks and tells us what the company is likely doing to fix the issue. Limit the extent of the attack um, and then try to bring systems back online as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, the forensics process is very difficult, right? But right now, everybody's probably trying to stabilize that infrastructure to make sure that they can continue to drive operations. Metro police say they are also monitoring the situation and tell us these types of incidents are handled by federal agencies, while the FBI said they are assisting MGM resorts. There is still no timeline on when systems will be back online. Right now, it's all hands on deck to stabilize all those systems, find the best copy of the data, restore business operations, then they'll go back and do the forensics process to figure out exactly how someone compromised that infrastructure. And for guests, it remains an inconvenience. I couldn't check in, um, I couldn't check out. Now, M Resorts says they have multiple manual processes in place, including checking in and out the front desk and physical keys for the hotel rooms. In the most recent update tonight, though, they said dining and gaming is back online. Live on the Las Vegas Strip, Brian Will, 8 News Now.